In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the gun bunch variation of the Y cross concept in MAD 23. This comes to us out of the Washington uh, Commander's Offensive Playbook. If you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. That's where you're going to get access to all of my MAD 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. And by being a Patreon member, I just guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player because there are also uh, principles and concepts concepts that you can apply to whatever formation you're running. So I'd really recommend that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. We're going to be taking a look here at Washington Bunch, and I'm going to be talking about the Y-Cross concept. I think that the Y-Cross concept is a super practically and very just quintessential passing concept that every offense needs to have. And the way we're going to set this play up is we're going to utilize the play Gun Bunch Verticals, right? Gun Bunch Verticals, one of the best plays year in and year out. And I'm going to show you how to make this a really good Y-Cross style um, of passing concept. So what we're going to do with this play here is we are going to, uh, we have this really nice crosser, crosser to our slot receiver. What we want to do is we want to streak our solo receiver. We're going to take our outside receiver in the bunch and we're going to put him on a post that you can have in slot apprentice or you can put him on a smart routed in. Okay, so put him on a post or a smart routed in route. And then we're going to take our tight end and we are going to put him on a out route and then what I like to do with the running back is also put him on an out route. So we're attacking the flats on both sides of the field and we're also, uh, so we have really good quick reads. You'll see right here, this tight end quick out is one of the best quick man beaters uh, in the game. Having your tight end on a quick man beating out route is super helpful uh, when we're trying to beat man to man coverage. Another route that we have on the play that's going to do pretty good against man coverage is this smart routed in or smart routed post to CD Lamb. As you can see, when he cuts inside, we're just going to throw an inside pass lead to him. And generally speaking, this route is going to be fairly effective for beating man-to-man. -man. Now, another route that you have is this crosser, as you can see right there, to Calvin Johnson. And if you have the route tech ability on him, it is going to make this route really good. I'm also going to show you in just a second another setup you can use if you want to block your running back. Um, but what you'll see here, I don't know how he got that, uh, but what you'll see here is this, this crosser. you just got to wait. You need a little bit of time. If you want to run this play and you don't want to, um, and you don't want to have, you know, this guy over here on and out, if you want to block your running back to give yourself some extra time, feel free to just put your tie down a drag. You can also do that. It's going to get you to kind of the same basic spot. Calvin Johnson, for some reason, is running this post terribly, or this crosser terribly. Um, you know, but you can you can hit this pretty much unanimously against man coverage. You just need this crosser to not get crazy bumped. There you see it, and there you see the separation. Okay, so as you can see, this stuff beats man. Another thing that I haven't hit on yet is if you're getting press man, um, so I cover one style press man, then what you want to also look for is our, is there safety help over the top. If there's not safety help, then feel free to throw this fade uh, up and over the top of the defense just like that. Because Debo Samuel has a short out elite ability that's going to ensure that you're going to win against the press. So you have something like that as well. Now, what if they are running some zone? Okay, this play is really good against zone. What we're looking to do against zone here is first and foremost, you have to make your opponent respect your flat routes. So this quick out to the, to the tight end, we want to make sure. But really the main route is this route to Calvin Johnson right there. What you want to do, especially as you're throwing this against zone, is you want to make sure that you are giving it into a position where the zone is not going to snap back. That's why I like to re-streak Samuel. Another way you can kind of dumb out zones is to high point and free form, or, or I'm sorry, high point and pass lead it down. And then you're going to click on an agate, as you can see right there. This is going to give you kind of another level of consistency on this crosser. So you're going to have what a lot more consistency if you just high point it right when he gets separation. Right in that little pocket, high point it, boom, you see how I can get it kind of in the soft spots of the zone defense. Now, what if their user says, I'm not going to let you throw the ball. Uh, to the tight end, right? I'm gonna, or uh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna let you throw the ball to the crosser. 
if they're not going to let you throw the ball to the crosser, then what you want to do is this is where this post route is really helpful. High ball, click on, you make that catch right in that soft spot of that zone. You can see how valuable uh, that route is. So you're able to beat really any zone. And the other thing that I haven't shown you yet is this crossing route also gets over the top of 30-yard clouds. So even if they're double flatting, this crosser runs so deep against zone that you know it can you can put the ball where only your receiver can catch it right in that little soft spot right there. So this play is really good against man coverage, really good against zone coverage. It's one of the many reasons why the bunch offense is so good. And if you want to learn my entire gun bunch scheme, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. For just $10, you'll get access to everything. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon.